new study says that electric cars are, well, not dirtier than gasoline or, or hydrogen cars. In fact, they are 73% cleaner. That includes the batteries. It doesn't include recycling the batteries, though, which actually makes them probably about 100% cleaner. But anyway, here are the details of this latest study. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. Welcome to... Well, the place where you can find out all the news about electric cars and hydrogen and everything that's going on in the renewable energy sector. Electric cars in Europe are proving to be much more climate friendly than petrol or gasoline powered cars. According to new findings from the International Council on Clean Transportation, ICCT. The ICCT does not make electric cars, does not profit from the sales of electric cars. They have no vested interests that I'm aware of whatsoever. The study shows that EVs sold today produce 73% fewer greenhouse gas emissions over their lifetime than internal combustion engine vehicles. That's a huge improvement from 2021 when the figure sat at 59%. The results confirm what many in the clean transport space have long said. EVs, not hybrids, are by far the most effective path to cutting emissions from passenger cars. Now, of course, Toyota was notified of this information, but they pretended it's all lies. According to Toyota, the only way for the world to become, uh, have better air quality is to drive around in hybrids. Okay. Anyway, cars are responsible for around 75% of the transport sector's emissions in the European Union, which is why some pretty big decarbonisation efforts are focused on going fully electric, of course, by 2035. Internal combustion will be banned in Europe. But electric cars, they're actually getting cleaner and faster. And this doesn't include the fact that we're now recycling batteries, and not even recycling them. In fact, they're often being used simply to power something else when the car itself actually wears out. The rapid decarbonisation of Europe's electricity grid is playing a big role, though, in the improved performance of battery EVs. In 2020, renewables made up 30% of Europe's power mix. That figure is going to hit 56% in 2025. So what does that mean? Well, apparently it's going to hit 86% by 2045. And this shift is huge because the vehicles sold today will likely remain on roads for the next 15 to 20 years or even longer if they're EVs, they last longer than internal combustion. However, the interesting thing is looking at Europe's power. In 2020, renewables were 38%. This year, it's going to hit 56%. Next year, it should be approximately double. So by the end of next year, we should hit nearly 70% renewables in Europe. Meaning that this figure in this video will be incorrect. The 73% cleaner figure should rise to about 80 to 85% cleaner than an internal combustion car. Now, of course, like I said, this does not include the fact that batteries don't just get thrown into the waste. They actually get recycled. Very valuable, the minerals in the batteries, or they get reused for some sort of other purpose, like powering uh, Rome's airport right now. Used Nissan Leaf batteries, that's what they're doing. Thanks to their superior energy efficiency and an increasingly green grid, electric cars are quickly becoming even more climate friendly. As Dr. Marta Negri from this ICCT said, battery electric cars in Europe are getting cleaner faster than we expected and outperform all other technologies, including hybrids and including plug-in hybrids. Hybrids are actually a fair way behind. While EVs have made huge gains, hybrids and plug-in hybrids have stagnated in their emissions performance. The ICCT said that hybrid vehicles only reduce lifetime emissions by around 20%, nothing in comparison to EV 73%, while plug-in hybrids manage about 30% less than their petrol equivalents. In practice, plug-in hybrids often rely more on petrol than planned, especially when drivers don't regularly recharge the battery. In other words, in Europe, plug-in hybrids are a poor choice for long-term climate goals. They're worse than purely gasoline, purely petrol cars. Now, although hybrids have a role to play in the short term, the data says they're not a serious long-term solution for countries aiming to drastically cut transport emissions. The European ICCT uh, commissioner saying Toyota has just made up this information saying that hybrids are a better solution, They're actually worse for the climate than internal combustion and much, much worse, far worse than electric cars are. 
Upfront emissions are balanced out very quickly with EVs. And this is one of the myths that the industry is trying to convey. They're saying, well, upfront emissions are a big problem. And then why EVs are worse than gasoline, which is completely false. One of the common criticisms of EVs is the higher emissions involved in their production, mostly due to battery manufacturing. Zcar.com says that this study acknowledges this, stating that making an EV emits roughly 40% more carbon than producing a petrol car, depending on the factory, of course. However, those additional emissions are offset after only 17,000 kilometers of driving. For most drivers, that point is reached within the first one to two years of ownership. After that, EVs continue to emit significantly less than internal combustion engine vehicles, making them a big advantage across the full life cycle. There's a very important point though the study is not talking about, and it is this. When they do create emissions, these battery factories, to create the batteries, it's in China. And it's not good for people in China, right? But most of the world's batteries are made in China. I think about 80% of them. So the difference is your internal combustion car is creating its emissions in your face, in your local suburb, in your school, near your school area. Uh, often cars will sit and idle in front of schools. This happens constantly in front of my school. I notice it all the time. Engine exhaust gas is pouring out of these vehicles at school because they're just sitting there idling their cars, waiting to pick up their kids or whatever it may be. But the difference is EVs don't do that. They create, if they, they do create some pollution, as you can see, but that's in the manufacturing process and that's in other countries in generally not areas where people live. No, people don't usually live within you know, 20 kilometers of a battery factory, right? Or 20 kilometers of a power plant or a coal power plant. They don't usually live close to these power plants. And in fact, these emissions are not always accurate because China is going moving away from, it, from fossil fuels in its energy mix very, very quickly. It's installing the equivalent to five nuclear power plants worth of renewables every single week. Just wild numbers. So these numbers, when you watch this video, could be incorrect for a few reasons, but it's also worth pointing out those emissions from your EV that are created before you buy it are not created right in your face. You're not breathing them in, causing or giving you potentially cancer while that's happening. Recent public commentary from some car industry executives has muddled the waters on the emissions debate, but the ICCT's Latest research offers clear evidence that EVs are the best way forward by a mile. It's not even close. As senior ICCT researcher Dr. George Beaker says, life cycle analysis is not a choose your own adventure exercise. There's only one answer. It's electric. With cleaner electricity, better battery technology, and strong climate targets, the evidence points to one conclusion going all in on battery electric vehicles is by far the most effective route to cleaner transport in Europe and globally. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.